Welcome back to my channel and today we are going to be looking at the friends subscription box for the summer month I know I just reviewed one about a month ago, but the spring and summer boxes do kind of come close together I explained that in the last video how they wait a really long time before the winter box to the spring box But then after you start getting the summer ones, it's spaced out every couple of months I am excited and I'm not going to complain about getting one so closely together. I would even be okay if this was a monthly box, but usually with fandom related boxes, seasonal is the way to go. If you've never heard of the Friends subscription box, it can be found at culturefly.com. I do have a link in the description box below and they do several different fan related boxes there. Supernatural, Friends, The Office. They also have kids subscription boxes, anime subscription boxes and Nickelodeon subscription boxes, as well as DC related boxes. So they have a pretty good variety over there, as well as a stuff in their store that isn't necessarily a subscription box, but that still may have stuff in there that you like. It starts at $35.99 a season, but then you do have to pay shipping and taxes on top of that. So with my shipping and taxes, it comes out to $50.88. Each box is supposed to have six to eight exclusive friends licensed items. And I love that. So these items that come in this box are not supposed to be found anywhere else unless someone got one in a box and are choosing to sell it. I can't miss out on any of it. That's why I keep getting this box. Another thing I am excited about is this is supposed to be the season 10 themed box. I can't believe it's already season 10 of the subscription box. I've had every single one starting with season two. I did miss out on the very first one and then they had one box that was before they started the season themed and it was called, I think the one that started it all. And I missed out on that box too. And I am so excited to see where they're gonna take this subscription moving forward after this one because the themes are going to change and I'm excited. So I guess we'll have to wait till fall to find out about that. But let's go ahead and look in this summer friends box to see what I'm gonna get. All right, I'm already seeing some really fun colors inside this box. And here is the product guide. First up, I see a can koozie. How awesome. And it also looks like it has a floaty. Yes, so in case you wanna maybe have this in the pool, I'm not sure. I am gonna open it, cause I am gonna keep it. Oh, that's so cute. It says, you're my lobster. I love that. And then it has a koozie with little lobsters all over it. That's a very iconic Friends thing it did not come out of season 10 so this is going to be more of a generic type item but i think it's supposed to stand up something like this i don't really have a can to put in here so it displays properly i think it's a pretty cool innovative product we haven't really got anything like this from them before and it's great for the summer so nice product there the next thing that i see is this pin and it's a rainbow friends pin. So it's a very nice design. I love the rainbow colors that come on there and very pretty to add to my pin collection. The next thing in here is this Central Perk LED light. This does require batteries and I don't have batteries to show you guys, but you would stick this in here and it would light up if it had the batteries. It's actually surprising how little batteries we keep in the house. I don't think we have any. Like every time we need something for batteries, we go and get that specific amount of batteries and then that's it. We don't really have a bunch of excess batteries. The next thing in here is the apparel item and it's a nice tie-dye blue. I really love the shirt I got last time. I've worn it several times. I've probably already worn it in a video, I'm pretty sure. I've probably worn it in multiple videos. It, I loved it. This one also has a lobster on it and it has a really nice feel. I don't know, maybe the theme for this one was Joey doesn't share food. Did they already like 
finish up the seasons or decide not to do season 10 and then I just missed it. Maybe I missed it. Maybe last one wasn't season nine. Maybe it was season 10. But I'm pretty sure I'd kept up with, hmm. I don't know, but, but the fact that it says Joey doesn't share food, I mean, I know it says it on the outside of the box, but they always do have something out here and it changes every single time. Makes me think that maybe the items here, I don't know. I don't know, it's really hard to say because not all the items are related to Joey or Joey sharing food. I mean, obviously the You're My Lobster has to do with Ross and Rachel and then Phoebe because she's the one that says that Rachel was Ross's lobster. But I like the back of it. It says, you're my lobster, and it has a picture of a lobster that is very classic Friends. Anyone who has watched Friends will probably understand that reference immediately as soon as they see it. And then the back is just plain blue tie-dye with Friends right here. This is gonna be another shirt that I love. The feel of it is soft. It's not like the softest feeling shirt I've ever had, but it is pretty soft and the design is really cute. That's like two lobster related contents right there. And the next thing in here is plates. This is the first time we've received plates in a culture fly box before. Oh my gosh. <laughs> and the pictures they chose were when the friends looked so ridiculous because it was like flashbacking to when they were in college or high school. <laughs> That's so funny. We got Chandler and Ross over here and then you have Rachel and Monica over here. That is so funny. Definitely kind of a collectible friends type item right there. <laughs> I mean, their hair looks so ridiculous. I mean, the girls don't look that ridiculous. I mean, it's definitely got some 80s vibes to it, but the boys. <laughs> okay, that was fun. The next thing in here is a bag that says Joey doesn't share food. So I'm wondering if this is meant to be like a lunchbox. Oh, yep, because it has that lining on the inside that's supposed to help keep stuff warm or cool depending on which way you go with it. I'd say it's a pretty good size. The ones that are like this will usually fit more than like the traditional lunch boxes. Anyways, I think that's cute. It definitely makes sense for this to be a lunch box where it says Joey doesn't share food. I actually don't share a lot of my food. I am very particular about what I get on my plate. Sometimes I do, sometimes I don't. Joey is very serious when he says he does not share food. And the last thing in here is a mesh beach tote bag. This is a very good size. I can definitely see you fitting a couple of beach towels in here and anything else that you wanna pack for your, like your suntan lotion, maybe some hats to wear to help protect you from the sun, flip flops. It's a very, very good size mesh tote bag. I'm happy with this season's box. I like a lot of the items. I don't know that I'll really use the LED light that much. It's probably the one that'll be more of a miss for me. And the plates, they are cute. They don't have my favorite friend's pictures on them. It is very specific to that episode and it kind of, the theme is kind of all over the place. I actually am going to try and look up real fast to see if it was supposed to have a specific theme that was not season 10. No, it says the summer box theme is season 10. That's what it says on the website. I was right, it is season 10, but I felt like the items they chose for season 10 really didn't have much to do with season 10. Does, does Joey say he doesn't share food in season 10? I do remember a whole episode where like Rachel's talking about it. It was later in the seasons, I think, where she talks about how he doesn't share food. Maybe season 10, because there were so many flashbacks, they decided to kind of go this route and it kind of encompasses all of the seasons in one. Because like the lobster, the lobster references, that's like way back in season two. Maybe even season three, but I think it was season two. Joey doesn't share food. I don't remember that being season 10. You know what I mean? Like Central Perk, that's in all the seasons. They're always going to Central Perk to get coffee. The rainbow pin, that doesn't have anything to do with the seasons either. This flashback episode, I can't remember in which season it was shown, but I don't know. 
kind of what they were going there. So yeah, I don't, I don't really get why this particular stuff had season 10. The beach stuff does make sense. There is a couple of beach episodes, but again, I think that's back in like, what, season three, something like that, when they go to the beach and Phoebe meets her biological mom. I mean, there's a lot of Friends references in here. I'm just not making the connection to season 10. I kind of had the same issue with the last box. I know that they had really kind of changed their subscription to where it was more generic Friends items which is fine if you wanna make sure that you have a mix between specific and generic items, but they should make sense to the theme, and I don't know that this one really makes sense to the theme, just in my own personal opinion. I don't know how everybody else felt about it. I hope that they can get better at sticking to themes. Like, I hope that after they have done with the whole like season 10, they can move forward and, and have items that actually match up. Culture Fly, I don't know if you watch my videos, but I think it'd be great to have theme them based on each friend, like have a Monica themed box, and then it could have like cooking, you know, cookie stuff, because she made all those cookies and candy. Like I know you probably can't send food, but you could send like a cookie tray or um, any other kind of kitchen gadget. You could have a Rachel themed box, which maybe will be more fashion related, or waitressing related. And then you can have a Ross themed box, which can be about his dinosaurs. And then, oh, what else did Ross love? I can't remember. And then you could have a Chandler themed box, which could be about, uh, I don't know, like his office that he always went to and no one ever really knew what he did. And then he eventually started doing advertisements. A Joey themed box where Joey was kind of all about dating and he was all about food and he was all about like being goofy. And then a Phoebe themed box. She was a masseuse. She had multiple jobs actually, but most of them she was just a masseuse. And all her principles, I mean like there's so many things you could do, like if you keep it specific to a friend, like I think that would be an interesting theme. I don't know, like I said, I'm curious to see how they're gonna go, where they're gonna take it. I hope that they get better at matching the theme items with the theme. I don't think they nailed it this time. The products are so good. I don't think they've nailed the theme. Tell me your thoughts down in the comments below about this Summer Friends subscription box. Please give me a thumbs up, hit the subscribe button down below, and I'll be back really soon with another video. Bye everyone.